My name is Michelle Knights and I'm from South Africa. So I'll be talking about inflation, the theory of where everything came from in the universe. Inflation is this theory where the universe expands unbelievably fast in a very short amount of time and it explains the origins of everything from humans to planets to galaxies. When I heard about it, it sounded like something built for me because I love science and I love science communication, but I also love drama. So uh, it's, it's combining two of my favorite things and I'm very passionate about bringing science to people. If I were to win FameLab, it would be great. Um, this is the first time a South African has taken part in uh, FameLab, so it would be incredible to come home with the title of winner. Hello, my name is Violeta Raminaita, I came from sunny Lithuania and I will talk about the cost of the Super Slim Me. What I already gained, the experience I already have, it's just fabulous. And uh, why, why am I doing science for is for the people and for the people only, so that they know the dangers that can really occur sometimes if you're not knowledgeable enough. So my role as a myth buster is already implemented. So that's what I could have done. And thank you for listening to that. Hi, uh, my name is Marcin Stolarski from Poland. I do not care where is the left, where is the, where is the right, where is the up or where is the down. But I care about small, tiny, itsy bitsy innocent transistors that can be easily damaged. And today, at night, I tell you how to protect them. We haven't a lot of people who win in the international level. Uh, so any winning is very important uh, to people in Poland to be proud that we really can build a satellite or really build something important, science, and, uh, and this is why I would like win. Not, not because I would like win or something like that. It's, it's for people in the Poland that they should be proud that they are from Poland. My name is Eduardo Sainz de Cabezón, I come from Spain and I am a mathematician. I'm going to talk about the difference between a theorem and a conjecture in mathematics, which is a central point in our work. And I will do it with several examples of conjectures that have been solved thousands of years later and some that are open. Hello Leho, uh, no hi, Christy San, I'm a medical doctor and I'm also doing research into memory sciences. Uh, so tonight we're going to be talking about uh, kissing and probability, and in particular a type of disease uh, you can catch that might be on the lips of your lover. So look out. Well, to be honest with you, I, I would really like to win, partly to take science communication back to Asia and try and make it a big deal, because it's really not, you know, science is not considered so creative back home. I, I'd like to really make a splash with it like they do here. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and I represent Croatia and I'm a student of molecular biology. I will be talking tonight about who we are, who we humans are, because we are, mo we are mostly uh, microbial. I actually found out uh, about FameLab two years ago when my friend from Croatia applied and I found everything so nice and I just want to see the whole experience by myself. My experience in FameLab uh, up till now was absolutely amazing because I met some really nice people, I learned really a lot and everything was absolutely terrific, so I'm really happy to be a part of it. Hello, my name is Nikos Konstantinou, um, I'm from Cyprus and I will talk about inattentional blindness. Yeah, I think it would be really important. Um, I would like to be engaged in public science in general. So I think winning Fame Lab will give me the opportunity to actually do that. Exactly that. Um, I think it's really important both for scientists 
as well as the public to be in touch with each other. So uh, when I saw um, this opportunity, I thought it's a really good uh, chance to also get involved into the Cheltenham Science Festival, but also get the chance to communicate my own science and contribute towards the public engagement in, in science. Yeah. Amazing experience for many reasons. First of all, meeting some of the um, the big names of science. I got to meet James Watson, for instance, Peter Higgs. That was an amazing, inspirational experience. But also getting to see the public being um, really enthusiastic about science, uh, being engaged in the, in the different demonstrations here and the talks and everything. It was amazing. I would really wish we could some something we could have something like this in Cyprus. Hi, I'm Leon, I'm from the UK and I'm a rocket scientist. Alright, uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about how bumblebees fly and I will explain that to everyone in the audience without bad analogies or any props, but it is it's rather hand wavy. I'm Owen Falson from Malta. Tonight I'll be talking about brain-computer interfaces, devices that allow us to control things around us just by using our thoughts. It's the first time Walt is participating in FameLab, so if we, if we are the winners, that will be great. And uh, it's a good opportunity to attract more Maltese people to the area of science, basically. My name is Fergus McAuliffe, and I'm from Ireland. So tonight I'm going to be talking about how clear the line is between life and death and I'm going to be using the example of the wood frog to explain how clear or unclear that line is. I've done a few things in Ireland um, along the science communication spectrum and I quite enjoyed them so I figured FameLab would be a great opportunity to perhaps go international with this and see what it's like in other countries. It's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a real energy and buzz around the place. Everyone is, in, everyone is really enthusiastic and everyone shares a common interest in science. So there's great conversations all the time.